Prince William and Catherine make bagels in Brick Lane as they carry out visits in a visit to East London. Kate Ree wore a pretty red floral gown by Beulah London for the appearance in the capital, with the dress featuring a bold white collar, and paired the stunning piece with nude heels and her floral mask. After using sanitizer, the royals donned aprons and gloves and giggled as they got to work. At the famous Bagel Bake in Brick Lane, William and Kate handled piles of dough, kneading them into shape to make 30 bagels. And their famously competitive spirit was on display as they found themselves being judged on their technique. Kate's rose red color shirt dress from the British brand is described online as evoking a classic mood. Crafted from silk crepe de chine, the dress is trimmed with a contrasting white cotton broadery lace collar and also features cuffed balloon sleeves. She wore her hair in her signature bouncy blow dry and kept her makeup neutral for the event. Bagel Bake was opened in 1974 and has thrived as a family business, opening 24 hours and churning out on average 3,000 bagels a day. Today business is still tough, having lost the tourists that would come to Brick Lane to try its delicacies, but most of the staff have been brought back. The owners refuse to let it dent their optimism, however, helping to deliver food to vulnerable members of the local community and taking part in a food donation program, Feast. On July 2019, the Princess of Wales took all three of her children to watch their father play polo. Catherine is continuing her pink streak with a chic and summery number for a charity polo match. Princess of Wales looked pretty in a pink Madison midi dress by L.K. Bennett, which boasted short floaty sleeves and a delicate pattern. The royal teamed the frock with a pair of Castaner espadrille wedges, accessorizing with the practical Darcy bag by Mulberry. Charlotte looked cute in a coordinating pale pink frock and matching hairband, as she played with George, who looked smart in a pale blue t-shirt. Today's outing to the polo match comes as Kate is focusing on promoting the physical and mental health benefits of children spending time outdoors. Kate was a mom on the move at today's match keeping a close eye on her energetic one-year-old. She was seen carrying Louis, following him around the grounds, and watching the horses with him. Like the stylish princess, the little royal was dressed perfectly for the summer weather, sporting a polo shirt and green shorts. And it was a day of surprises, as the Wales family were joined by the Princess of Sussex and baby Archie Mountbatten Windsor, in what appeared to be his first family outing. This is the first time the Wallace and Sussexes have been pictured on a family day out, in what was a sweet display between the children. Kate and Meghan were supporting William and Harry, who were pictured competing in the King Power Royal Charity Polo Day for the Vishai Srivadana Prabha Memorial Trophy at Billing Bear Polo Club. On March 2022, Kate, Princess of Wales, dazzled alongside husband Prince William as the couple arrived in Abaco, in the north of the Bahamas on the final day of their Caribbean tour. Kate opted for a pink midi gown by much-loved brand Rixo for the occasion, which featured a button-down collar and subtle animal print design. Kate wore pink print dress, and currently retails for £245. They are a popular choice for the princess, who has been wearing them since 2019. Catherine wore a bubblegum pink dress for the absolute sweetest reason, to fulfill a promise to a little girl with leukemia. She paired the shirt dress with a matching clutch bag by Emmy London and wedge heels by Spanish brand. The 41-year-old looked incredible in a brand new outfit as she stepped out on Saturday, and all we can say is wow. Prince William looked suave as he walked alongside his wife, wearing a navy suit and pale blue shirt. The Wallace then moved on to pay their respects to the victims of Hurricane Dorian by laying a wreath at Abaco's memorial wall. Their final stop on the island of Abaco saw the prince and princess visit a fish fry, a quintessentially Bahamian culinary gathering place which is found on every island in the Bahamas. They met vendors who prepared a taste of Bahamian cuisine, including the local favorite, conch salad. In September, 2019, it was an exciting day for the prince and princess of Wales as their daughter Princess Charlotte started school. The four-year-old joined her big brother Prince George, 6, at Thomas's Battersea in West London, on Thursday 5 September. As the four of them walked from the car, Charlotte, normally much more confident and outgoing than her brother, clung to her mother's hand and held back. 
Prince William told Ms. Haslam that his daughter was very excited about her first day at school. Prince William and Kate dropped off Charlotte at the school gates on her first day and the family were greeted by Helen Haslam, head of the lower school. Princess Charlotte looked adorable in her brand new uniform as she arrived for her first day at school with her proud parents the Prince and Princess of Wales. The little royal was dressed in Thomas's Battersea's navy and red uniform as she walked through the gates this morning holding her mum's hand. She arrived with mum, dad and big brother Prince George, who is already a student at the £6,000 a term private school in London. Glamorous Kate looked thrilled to be accompanying her little girl on the first drop-off. After a summer filled with beach time in Mustique, a trip to see Gangan at Balmoral Castle in Scotland, and a boat ride to cheer on her parents in the King's Cup regatta, Princess Charlotte is finally heading back to school. While she previously attended previously attended Wilcox Nursery, this year she'll be enrolled at Thomas's Battersea, with her older brother Prince George. The Prince and Princess of Wales accompanied their only daughter on her first day of school this morning, a milestone which was documented by royal photographers. Charlotte looked adorable walking into class in her new navy blue uniform, and her hair in a ponytail. We greatly look forward to welcoming her and all of our new pupils to the school in September. Charlotte, who is usually quite confident in front of a crowd, was a bit shy as she arrived at Thomas's Battersea, walking behind her mother. Prince George is undoubtedly ready to show his little sister the ropes. Both Wales kids are sporting Thomas's adorable navy blue uniform. For her part, Kate chose to wear a pink pattern dress for the occasion. Prince William opted for a more casual, no-tie look. No doubt it was an emotional day for mum of three Kate, who was forced to miss George's first day at school in September 2017, as she was pregnant with Prince Louis and was suffering from severe morning sickness. The princess wore her red and white floral Michael Kors Carnation Georgette dress with a black waist belt and suede pumps for her daughter's big day. Her Royal Highness Princess Charlotte of Wales is a bit of a mouthful for the register every morning. To her teachers and friends, she will be known as Charlotte Wales, like her brother is known as George Wales. This was also the case for Prince William and Prince Harry, who took on Prince Charles' title Wales as their surname. According to the school's uniform list, Charlotte will require a winter and summer uniform, as well as PE kit, an art smock and ballet shoes, which are all supplied by Perry in Chelsea. The most distinctive item will be the navy jacket or cardigan with Thomas's crest, a red unicorn reading a book. The curriculum at Thomas's is broad and as well as the core subjects, Charlotte will dabble in French, computing, art, music, drama and ballet, taught by specialist teachers, in her reception year. The early years schedule also gives pupils to explore the outdoors, by going off-site on a woodland adventure. Charlotte will get the chance to do den building, bug hunts and woodland crafts, which she will be familiar with, thanks to Mum Kate's love of the great outdoors. <laughs> 